Okay, so fun project today. If you recall a couple, a little while ago, I uploaded a video where I took a really old industrial heater out of the ceiling on the third floor. And that's been up there since about 1926. And there were a bunch of components on it that I uh, really wanted to salvage and make cool stuff with. And perhaps one of my favorite things was the backing plate that I thought would make an amazing mirror. And uh, so that's what we're gonna do today. Uh, I don't think it's a very complicated project. I think we should be able to whip it out pretty quick. Okay, so I wanna keep this thing, uh, for obvious reasons, exactly like it is. And uh, so that's why I picked up this can of lacquer and I'm just gonna spray it and seal in all of that beautiful goodness. And, uh, so I got it outside where the ventilation is good and I'm hoping that when I spray this on, it's gonna pop and really, let me back up a little bit here. Hoping it's gonna pop and uh, those colors are gonna come out even more like it did when we washed it off at the, uh, the car wash. So uh, yeah, let's keep our fingers crossed. Quick test space here. Okay, so I'm here at Habitat for Humanity Restore in Charleston. Uh, I've always heard it referred to as Restore, so I wasn't sure that it was part of Habitat for Humanity, but uh, apparently it is. And so I'm going in to look for a mirror for my industrial mirror project. But I'm gonna use this opportunity to ask them if they want some, to some toilets. So uh, let's go see what they have to say. Hi. Hi. Uh, I have an old building that used to have a plumbing hey. and electric store in it. Okay. And do you guys take toilets? Mm hmm H How many can I bring you? Um, I think the most we try and keep here is 30 at one time, so I don't know how many they've gotten back right now. Okay, I've got hundreds, so... Um, can you bring them in, like, intervals of, like, 15, one week, and wait yeah. a couple weeks and bring yeah, another? I yeah, I can do that. We so. could do it that way. Okay. So right. we don't, and then it, we may have to cut you off if we aren't selling them that quickly. <laughs> well, but. I've got, I got sinks, too, and okay. stuff, so. Yeah. Do you have, like, plumbing stuff? Like A lot. Uh, we'll, we yeah. take that it's stuff, the, too. Are you from Charleston? Mm -hmm. no. Yeah. It's the Brown Shoe Building. Oh, on yeah. Division Street. Okay. Okay, good news and uh, good news. So... Apparently, they do take toilets and sinks, and but they have kind of a rule of 30 in stock at a time, so I can bring them up in bits and bits over time, so that's awesome. And I found a mirror for only 10 bucks, so win-win. Uh, Triple win. Today is uh, white tag day, I guess, and it was 60% off, so that mirror cost me only $4.00. And it's perfect for what I want to use it for. And uh, yeah, four bucks. The cheapest one I could find on Facebook Marketplace was like 80 bucks. So uh, that is awesome. Lucky days. Happy days. Happy days. Uh, I need to go to the tractor store and get a glass cutter. So here we go. Okay, so Walmart does not carry glass cutting tools. And neither does Rural King Tractor Supply. So... We've got uh, one last hope, which is Ace True Value. So I'm going to head over there now. If not, it's going to be Amazon again. Okay, no luck. Uh, there's like one last little hope. There's a lumber yard uh, right next to the uh, to the building. So let's go check that out. Kirshner's <laughs> Lumber since 1906. Uh, this is not a sponsored video. However, uh, my grandfather 
was a local handyman here and did business with Kirshner's his entire life. Uh, and that was the uh, back in the day before Lowe's and Home Depot were even a thing. So, uh, yeah, and it, it is a local buy. So that's awesome. Okay. We're actually going to be able to do this project. Okay, so I have my uh, backing plank here, and before it becomes the back of that mirror, it's gonna be my workbench for cutting the mirror. Uh, I wanted to give a little context before I cut this mirror that I have zero knowledge, zero experience, uh, and I don't know anything about cutting glass and mirrors. Uh, but I did watch about 20 YouTube videos, so I'm gonna follow the steps that I saw on YouTube as best I can. And please do not consider this a DIY video because uh, I'm just kind of feeling around in the dark myself on this. So, uh, but if I mess it up, I'm only out four bucks. I can go get another one. So let's let's give it a shot. Uh, it's like a decent wood frame. It's got some character to it, and uh, it's real wood. So I'm going to uh, try not to destroy it, <laughs> and I can put it in the auction stuff. Maybe somebody will be able to use it, or who knows? I might find a use for it myself later. So. Uh, I'm going to flip it over and see if I can get that mirror out of there. Okay, I hope this thing is not glued. We'll find out here in a second. Oh, wow, it's just sitting in there. No staples, no glue, no nothing, just sitting in there. But it does have some very sharp edges I can feel just by just by that first little touch. Super sharp. So uh, I wanna... Okay, so just for a little test, I laid the... Uh, the frame down on the glass because I wanted to make sure that when you're over to the side that you didn't see an, a mirror edge here and so it is just perfect for the width all I have to do is chop off the length and we'll be good to go That did not work. I pressed as hard as I could, and it started scoring right at the very end of the stroke there. Uh, the good thing is that it's going to be concealed under there, so if the, you know, if I have two scores that don't quite match up, <laughs> I have a friend that says, "Man, you wave your hand so much that your hand hurts." Let's do this again. Ah, it's starting to score later in the stroke. This is a learning process for me, so don't judge me too much. Uh, so it's happening later, and I think it's happening because the cutter is getting to a more vertical position. So nobody mentioned that on any of the the uh, tutorials that I watched. So I'm gonna try to do one more pass. I did put lubricant on the blade. I'm gonna try to stay at a more of a vertical. 
Oh. Easy. Easy peasy. Okay, now I know. Need to keep that glass cutter vertical. Okay. So I'll take my clamps off. And then I'm gonna clamp the longer section here. Because when I pop it on the other side, I don't want this back end bouncing up. And so, and then I need, uh, I'm ahead of myself. I need to put something under it first. You know, that's kind of deceptive. So uh, you see how there's an angle on that. I just assumed that, uh, see, where's the camera at? That was naturally made to help you with the angle there to pull across the glass but no you're supposed to do it like that and uh yeah it's a learning curve but i keep keep on this learning curve and keep on and keep on and i'm learning stuff every day this has uh been a really uh it's been a growth experience for me so uh i've got no 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 complaints at all going to serve as a fulcrum i have the back end clamped down so that when i press it the back end won't pop up and i'm pressing on the short end and according to the youtube videos that i watched all i have to do is kind of give it a snug push on the short end and it should break so let's see if that works oh not the first one camera fell over uh but yeah it's not perfect it is definitely not perfect but i did get a pretty good line all the way across which is going to serve my needs for this one and you live and you learn next time i'll have that glass cutter up in a vertical section and i won't have this ugly stuff going on here uh now i'm just going to sandpaper the edges and uh I'll be ready to put it all together. Okay, so uh, thanks to the viewers, I now know to uh, adjust the depth of my saw for the cut. So thank you guys for that. Okay, so we've got the backboard painted, but it's still wet. And that's the same color, which is Urbane Bronze. Last year, Sherwin-Williams color of the year. Uh, but I had some extra, and it's perfect anyway for industrial. It is just perfect. So I went ahead and painted that. I'm going to let that dry. And then tomorrow in the morning, I'll paint the back side of it. And then if tomorrow's a nice day and it dries by afternoon, then we'll be able to assemble the whole thing. So, Okay, so the paint is dry. And I've got it laid out here perfectly in the center, both on the uh, x-axis and the y-axis. And now I'm going to drill holes uh, into the wood so I can put a bolt in there. I wanted to use the actual bolts that I took out, but they were just thick enough to get through two pieces of sheet metal. And they're not going to be long enough to use here, so I've got them saved for maybe using on a different project someday. So... Uh, I'm gonna drill the holes. So I knew that I didn't want bright, shiny silver screws, uh, or bolt heads, I'm sorry, uh, on this mirror. So. I didn't have kind of aged vintage ones, so the best compromise I could find were these uh, automotive bolts, and at least they're black, so they'll be a little less obtrusive than the super shiny silver bolt heads would be. So we're gonna use those. Okay, so now that's done, and I uh, wanna pick it up, get the, uh, the drill filings removed, and I want to actually mount the mirror 
inside. Okay, so uh, I've said so many times that this building provides, and uh, this might look staged or contrived, but uh, it wasn't. And I knew I needed something to hold that mirror onto the, uh, the backing plate. And so I was thinking, okay, maybe I can find some little plastic L-shaped things or whatever that I can mount to the board. And uh, there's one particular place that has lots of little thingamathings, doohickeys type things. And so it was the first place I headed and check this out. Now this thing is dusty. You know I didn't get it from the hardware store. Mirror holders. <laughs> Unbelievable. This place uh, provides. Okay, so I've got this really large drill bit and I'm gonna go around to each one of these holes and drill in just like an eighth of an inch so that the nut on the back of the, uh, the bolt will sit flush with the surface. I know they have a tool for this, uh, but you know, it's a simple process. So I'm just gonna use the, what I got. Now, so as you see, then it won't be on uh, you know sticking out on the back of the mirror, and uh, it won't be scuffing up the wall that it's hanging on. Okay, so I got a little preview for you. So that's kind of what it's going to look like. I just need to uh, get that. Um, mirror secured in with the holders put the bolts in uh, clean up the back and then paint the back and it's all done I've had a vision in my mind for this thing for so long and it feels great to finally, uh, you know, bring it to life. So uh, this is kind of an accomplishment for me because, you know, I just had it in the back of my mind and been wanting to do it, been wanting to do it. And uh, now it's done and I've got nine more to do. So, okay.